Give me one some more ice cream. Just that girl I saw. I can tell. Just a short. Hi. So when was this time? Oh, one more time, just so I'm sure I'm not doing it. Oh, darling, that's so wonderful. Oh, I've waited all day for that. All day? Did you do get up early? Well, half the afternoon, but it's <laughs> an eternity just the same. <laughs> you know, it's funny, Dennis. I used to love it there when I first moved in. You know, being at the very tip of the top of the world with all of Houston spread at my feet. I thought it was seventh heaven. It isn't? Not anymore. Not since... Oh, Dennis. Now I wake up and I can't stand how empty my bed is. And, and it is, darling, without you. See, I keep remembering how warm and wonderful it was waking up beside you on New Year's Day. Oh, please. I get a hangover just thinking about New Year's Day. Dennis, but it was so lovely. Yeah, well, I'm glad you had rosy memories of that morning. To me, it was more uh, tinted, a sort of bilious green. Oh, darling, how can you say such a thing about one of the happiest mornings of my life? It was wonderful. Well, it, you were wonderful, but my hangover cast an evil spell on everything else. <laughs> yeah, you were stinko, all right. As a matter of fact, like I told Miss Page when I helped her cart you home, I told you you are going to regret that night come morning. Yeah, well, it's hard to regret something you don't remember. Yeah, blackout, huh? An eclipse, at the least. Eclipse. Oh, darling, I've told you everything important that happened that day. Most important thing being your proposal. Dennis, you were so sweet. Yeah? You really managed to propose that night? Man, oh, man. You certainly did. That's downright amazing. I don't think you could have said your name that night, much less propose. Wait a minute, I thought I proposed right here in the club. And you overheard every word of it. Me? Huh? Heard you propose? <laughs> I'll tell you, man, I was too busy lugging you around to hear your mum mumbling. Oh, yeah, propose. Oh, sure, that just slipped my mind. Uh, I guess I thought you were just joking around at the time you said him. Uh... Oh, well, there's a guy over there. I think he needs his drink. I don't want him to complain the management. So, uh, you all excuse me? Uh, yes, nice I chatting think... with you folks. I think that'd be a good idea, Junior. You know, you really ought to teach that clown to dance a lot Come better on, than that. Just forget Come on, you it. lied to me, Paige. I never proposed to you. It was all a lie, wasn't it? I thought we had an agreement. No, Elliot. Iris I... didn't tell me about Dennis. Don't cover for her. I should have learned not to trust her by now. No, Alex told me about Dennis months ago. He wanted me to understand the changes in his will. Oh. Of course. Forgive me, Iris. And that's not all he told me. He said you threatened to kill Iris when you found out about Dennis. Oh, no. No, no, I didn't. Oh, I believe that you did. You see, Alex wouldn't lie about that. And he wouldn't have been so concerned about what you might do to Iris. I wouldn't do anything to harm Iris. I'm not a violent man. Oh, yes, I did. I said some terrible angry words, words I've regretted a thousand times, but it, it wasn't a serious threat. It was, it was shock, that's all. A blind reaction. You understood that, didn't you, Iris? You frightened me, Elliot. You frightened me badly. For which I beg your forgiveness. But you can see how, how the news might have made me lose control temporarily. I mean, for 25 years, Dennis was my son. Then suddenly, he wasn't my son anymore. He was the son of the man my wife betrayed me with. Hey, that's enough of that, mister. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. It still burns, but it's past. I, 
I have adjusted to, to the new order. I have. I can live with it. Well, I don't believe that. Or you wouldn't be so upset remembering it, would you? What does it matter what you believe? It's my life. And I have to make living with it a reality. Well, it matters to me because you're still clutching it, Dennis, like a drowning man. And you're still holding it over Iris. Now tell me, Elio, why did you make Iris promise not to tell Dennis? This time he made to give up everything. What purpose could it serve to break the bond between Dennis and me? Wheeler doesn't need a son now. I do. He took my wife away from me before she even was my wife. He cannot take my son. No, he can't. Can he, Elliot? I'm sorry he's gone, but he is gone. Dennis, Dennis loves me without question. He's the only one in the world who does. He understands me, he forgives me. I'd freeze without that one touch with humanity. I, I, I would die without my son. Forgives you? Forgives you what, Elliot? We all have need of forgiveness, haven't we, Connor? Isn't that one of the rules of the world? Or are you so perfect that you've never felt the need of a merciful word from someone who loves you? No, Elliot, I'm not perfect. But do you really think you can base the kind of relationship you crave with Dennis on a lie? Mm -hmm.